Really? A $1,400 fourth stimulus check and my honest opinion on another check. I have all the details and what you need to know right here in the video. So let's get right into it. All right, now this is a very important topic that I get questions on literally every single day and exactly what I wanna focus on right here in this dedicated video in regards to my honest opinion and the likelihood of another check right now this year. So let's get into it as we have a lot to talk about. However, really fast before we do, thank you so much for joining me. If you're new here or if you haven't done so yet, please make sure to subscribe by hitting the button right down below the video as it's totally free to do so. And because I am your one and only daily advocate, I am very much dedicated to you and this community to continue to be here for you right by your side every single day, watching all this new information, hitting the wire, doing the research and breaking it all down into these short videos so you can stay updated with what's actually going on. And most importantly, what's out there for you to grab right now during this very expensive time as more people need more money and benefits as well as everything else going on. I want to make sure to bring it to your attention right away. So again, thanks so much for joining me. Please subscribe down below if you haven't done so yet. And also remember, I'm here for you right by your side every single day. That's my dedication. That's my commitment. And as always, that is my promise to you and everybody right here in the community. All right. Thanks again. Let's get into it and talk about this very important topic that I literally get questions on every single day from those of you here in the community asking, what is the likelihood of another check? And what is your honest opinion? Do you really think we're going to get something this year. Also, by the way, thank you so much for sharing these videos with your friends, family, and social media. I truly appreciate it. There's an amazing community that we have right here. And like I've always said before, we need to stick together through this time because it's us against Congress. Who's going to win, right? <laughs> anyway, my point is we need to stay here in this community because the more people here in this community, the more influential that we are and the greater the impact that we have, especially when we write these very important letters and we create these very important videos, reaching out to Congress, asking them for additional relief, especially for those people that are struggling so badly right now. Anyway, thanks again. Let's talk through the details about this because I want to bring it to your attention and I want to give you my honest opinion. Now, here's the thing. It is my dedication always as I've always said as well, to bring you the honest, accurate, reliable, and transparent information literally every single day. So uh, as I do in all my videos, it's always my honest opinion, but I want to make this dedicated video because I've had some of you here in the community asking me, what's my honest opinion on this? Do I really think we're going to get something or is it all just talk? Well, here's the thing. Let me break down the details for you because I've been talking about this for a very long time, but I want to break it all down in this dedicated video really quickly, which is this year is apparently, according to the reports, according to the analysts, according to the economists, according to the bank CEOs and very highly influential people out there, they're saying that the year of 2023, so like right here, right now, is the year of reckoning. In other words, what they mean by that is they're suggesting that we're likely going to be seeing another 2000, like the year 2000, 2001.com bust or the 2008 uh, great financial crisis. They're suggesting that this year, the year of 2023, there's a lot of things that are coming that many people are not even actually taking into consideration. So again, I don't want to be the person here saying, oh, watch out, the sky is falling, the sky is falling. I don't want to be that person. However, what I'm reading on this is that they're suggesting this year, 2023, is going to be a massive, massive year wrecking, uh, reckoning and the wrecking balls are coming and you got to watch out because this thing is coming down. Now, here's the thing. Again, I don't want to instill fear in anybody, but I do want to lay this all out for you and I do want to give you this perspective simply because if this really, really does happen, as many people are suggesting, if this really does happen, if this great, great, uh, huge, deep recession is actually coming that many people are talking about right now, I can tell you this much, the likelihood of another check at that point becomes much, much, much greater when that happens, okay? So that's why I'm uh, pointing that out is because if this really does come into fruition, if this really does happen, and if there is a deep, dark recession like what many people are suggesting right now, if that really does happen this year at some point, then the likelihood of another check becomes much, much more likely. So that's why I'm watching all this stuff. Now, does it mean anything in particular for us individually? Well, not really. It's all coming down to the economy, right? So we've talked about this so many times over the course of most of 2022. We saw all of this crazy inflation, right? So 2022 was like the year of inflation. I'm not really sure what else we could call it other than <laughs> literally the year of inflation. That's all it was, right? Because of all the money printing that they did basically during 2020 and early 2021, 
six trillion dollars were printed over the course of about one year period of time. That's a lot of money to be printed out of thin air for no good reason other than the fact that the economy needed a bunch of money, right? So as a result of all these huge, huge packages that they passed and all of these other programs that were going out at the time, they printed a lot of money, tr uh, six trillion dollars during that time. Well, then we saw all of the effects of all of that coming home in 2022, where we saw massive inflation, right? For the most of uh, the majority of 2022, inflation was well over 8% on an annualized year over year basis. That's very high, considering the Federal Reserve generally has their benchmark of inflation around two to two and a half percent. So we were sitting about six to six and a half percent higher than what inflation really should have been during that time. So that was very, very high. Now, to be fair, inflation has come down a little bit, but it's still very elevated and it's a, it's likely going to stay very elevated for a very long time. So as a result of that, we saw last year in 2022, we saw the Federal Reserve raising interest rates very aggressively through the most, uh, the majority of 2022, right? Uh, for many meetings there, they were raising interest rates by 75 basis points, a couple 50 basis point rate hikes in there a few times, but my point is, all of those interest rate hikes are going to be felt this year. That's what they're suggesting. The analysts, the experts are saying all of the damage that was done by the Federal Reserve last year because of them trying to bring down inflation is going to be felt this year. And that's what's going to cause this huge economic collapse. So again, is it really going to happen? Well, honestly, I don't really know. I mean, I'm not... Um, you know, I'm not a fortune teller. I, I don't have a crystal ball. Nobody does, but they're just giving their best estimates on this. So at the same time, to be totally fair, I've also seen other people coming out suggesting, oh no, 2023 is going to be a massive year of growth in the United States. Is it really? Now, again, I don't really necessarily want to take a whole bunch of sides on this, but based on everything that I'm looking at and everything that I understand about the situation, I don't really see how this could be a, a massive year of growth. Maybe we don't see the huge recession that many people are talking about, but I just don't really see a massive year of growth. There's no possible way with the Federal Reserve continuing to uh, contract or continuing to raise interest rates and continue to basically contract this economy. I, I don't really know how we're going to see a massive year of growth, especially as we continue to see the unemployment rate rising. We're seeing companies laying off hundreds or thousands of people at a time. We're seeing um, you know a lot of extra people losing their jobs right now and again that's not a good situation and that is not a sign of a massive growth type of picture okay so when it comes down to it long story short in my honest opinion on another check this year it really comes down to the economic picture if we do happen to see a massive recession like what many people are talking about right now my honest opinion is the likelihood of another check is very 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 high that's my honest opinion on this. If we do see a di uh, uh, sorry a big deep recession this year, like what so many people are saying, then I would say my opinion is yeah, uh, the likelihood of another check is uh, very very high at that point. However, if we do not see the big recession that many people are talking about this year, I'm gonna say the chances are kind of medium. They're kind of like, well, if we do see an economic contraction, maybe they come forward and say, okay, we need you know more stimulus in the economy. We need to print up some more money. We need to get this thing afloat again. And if we don't see any recession or any economic contraction other than what we're seeing now, I would say the likelihood is probably very small or probably not even a chance at all of another check. So I'm just being real with you right now, letting you know what I see going forward here. However, when it comes down to it, if we look at the real numbers, the real economic data, the real picture that is being played out right now, again, putting all the opinions aside from all the economics, uh, the economists, the, the analysts, the CEOs, the big banks, the, all these people like this, if we put it all aside and we look at the real picture right now, we can clearly see, has the economy slowed down? Yeah. Are people really losing their jobs right now? Yes, unfortunately, that is happening. Are companies actually laying off hundreds or thousands of people at a time? Yes, that is happening. Is inflation still very high? Yep, that's still happening, right? So we're looking at the real picture right now. Is Are, are a lot of different things becoming unaffordable for a lot of people? Yep, that's still happening. Like for example, housing. Whether you're trying to rent a place, as in shelter, rental, or if you are trying to buy a house, is all of this becoming very expensive? Again, yes, we can look at the real picture. Is uh, food prices and inflation on food still going up? Yep, still going up, right? We're still seeing this with all the inflation data that we've been seeing lately. So again, looking at the real picture and what is really happening right now, is all of this still a thing? Yes, is all of this still a major concern? 
Yes, right? So then, as we look at this picture, can we probably conclude from all this that maybe that all of this that we're dealing with right now is probably not sustainable? Probably a good assumption, right? Now, again, we don't want to assume anything, right? But at the end of the day, if we look at the real picture, putting all the opinions aside, and we look at this from an objective standpoint rather than a subjective standpoint, we can clearly see that yeah, things are still very unsustainable for a lot of people, and this is very unsustainable for the country as a whole, right? Now, here's the thing. In 2022, yeah, we can be unsustainable for a long period of time, but eventually it all needs to come back to equilibrium, right? The same thing happens. It's the ebb and flow of the economy. Same thing happens, right? We see huge booms in the economy and we see huge busts in the economy, right? We see very high growth periods of time and we see very low growth periods of time. In other words, known as an economic contraction or a recession. Same thing. Again, the ebb and flow of the economy. We see it all the time. And the whole objective is to bring it back to equilibrium. Well, guess what? They over... They overshoot on the upside when it goes into an economic expansion and they overshoot on the downside when it goes into an economic contraction. So the ultimate goal is equilibrium, the line that goes right through this, the middle horizontally, right? So that's the equilibrium line. And we go above way too much and we go way too below. Well, in this case, we went through a very big uh, period of time there for many, many years where we were going through a huge economic um, expansion period of time and then and guess what happens next? Well, economic contraction, right? So when it comes down to it, it all revolves on, around, and my honest opinion, all revolves around the recession and the economic data. So what we see this year with the economy is really going to be the one to determine if another check is going to be coming. Again, at that point, and again, I've said this before, but I want to say it one more time. In the event of a major, major recession, are they going to be looking at, looking at inflation and saying, well, you know, the economy is down the tubes. Uh, things are really bad right now. People are losing their jobs left and right. The unemployment rate is very high and the economy is really, really bad. But Inflation is still high. We're not going to do anything about it. Not a chance. At that point, they won't care less about inflation. They'll say, hey, look at the economy. It's really bad. People are losing their jobs left and right. The unemployment rate is very high. Uh, not sustainable. Not good. Who cares about inflation at this point? Let's print up some money and let's get it out. So when it comes down to it, and I've explained that before in previous videos over the last year or so, I've said, when it comes down to it, if the economy really goes down the tubes as they're suggesting, they won't care about inflation anymore. That will not be the top concern. Remember, it's just like any type of other situation. Uh, when we're kind of in a dire type of situation, what is the most important thing? Well, we look at what is, you know, the most urgent type of situation in that given moment. Well, will the economy be, be, be the most urgent situation or will inflation? The economy will be the most urgent situation in that situation. So that is what they'll be looking at. So again, when it comes down to inflation, in the time of a, a deep economic contraction, inflation won't even be a talk anymore. They won't even care about inflation anymore. It won't even be a discussion, right? So kind of hope this gives you a better perspective on what's going on and my honest opinions, as many of you here in the community have been asking for, and I wanted to break it down for you here in this short video. So again, leave your comments, your questions, and your feedback down below. Again, if you want me to come back and elaborate on this further, I can. There's a lot more to talk about this. But again, at the same time, I want to make this video somewhat short and concise to give you an, an, uh, kind of a, a perspective on what I'm thinking about all this, what I'm seeing, and again, what I'm watching with all of this that's happening going on right now. So... If you want me to come back and make part two of this video, I can certainly do that. Honestly, there's probably a part two and a part three and a part four. I could keep going on and on and on about different things that I'm watching and what we need to pay attention to this year and again, the years to come, not just this year, but for the next couple of years, this is going to be a big situation. This is not something that's going to be solved in the next month or two. It's not going to be solved in the next six months. It's going to be a long-term situation. So either way, I'll keep you posted as I do get more details. Please subscribe down below if you haven't done so yet, so you can stay updated with all these videos that I'm producing and bringing to your attention each and every day. Also, share this video with your friends from your social media and go back and check out any of the other thousands of videos here on the channel. Until next time, enjoy your day. Have a good one. I hope this helps helps you. And again, leave your comments, questions, your feedback down below. And I can always come back and make another one if you need me to, to elaborate a little bit further. All right. Enjoy. And I'll catch you again later in the next video.